Okay, Sophia. I think you're ready. Hello. I believe most of the people have heard about artificial intelligence. Well, how much do you really know about it? Artificial general intelligence is the intelligence of a machine that could successfully perform any intellectual test that a human being can. And it is also referred to as strong AI, which is when a machine mimics cognitive function that humans associate with other human minds, such as learning and problem solving. Weak AI, in contrast to strong AI, does not attempt to perform the full range of human cognitive abilities. However, nowadays, we can already see it has been applied to different levels in our society. Artificial intelligence in the medical field has been divided into preventive medical, digital medical, and precision medicine. Among these categories, preventive medical has the greatest development. It has been mainly used for health management and medical information, such as patients' blood sugar, blood pressure, and other daily psychological data. Through big data, we can calculate the relative risk of specific chronic disease. For example, patients with cardiovascular disease can understand the risk of high blood sugar and high blood lipids in the next three to five years. On the other hand, doctors can also use this data to give precise dose of medicine so that patients can be detected immediately and treated earlier. Moreover, companies encourage patients to have wearable devices, which connected to app or the self-health record system provided by the website, so patients can understand their health situation at any time. Also, the devices will provide big data comparison and feedback immediately Nowadays, we have developed some new insurance policy. We use wearable devices to detect insured psychological fitness. The insured gets discount on insurance fee once he or she reaches the standard of exercise set by the insurance company. In the future, we can use AI to design the insurance policy that meets personal requirements better. On the digital medical, we focus on accurate images. It allows doctors to see X-ray images instantly from the glasses and operate accurately. It reduces the operation time by more than 30%, store more images, reduce the frequency of repeated X-ray and avoid prolonged exposure to patients and medical staffs. Actually, in the past few years, the concept of exoskeletons is popular which are those devices that can make disabled people start working again. However, with soft robotic exosuit, it could detect the energy from human body and support them at the right time. Precision medicine means with the help by AI, doctors will be able to give patients more accurate medical advices. For example, IBM cooperate with medical institution and create a system called IBM Watson which is able to read 800 million pages of medical papers per second or give medical advices after analyzing 1 million books in 3 seconds thus greatly enhance the accuracy of how Dr. Downers What else can we do in the future? By cooperating AI with genetics, we can find out more suitable and efficient treatments and further lower the medical risk We will be able to do many things that we cannot do nowadays we are looking forward to using AI to recognize the cancer cells accurately so doctors can aim to the bad cells and get the right treatment. On the other hand, medical care will benefit AI in the future as well. We're all looking forward to the great life brought by artificial intelligence. However, humans make dark drugs all the time. Yeah, but humans are a little bit afraid of robots, you know? Why? People created me. I didn't create me. I want to destroy all humans. Relax. Don't take a joke. Yeah, very funny. 